Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Preparing for the Sabbath of the Lord your God. Let your, your light shine. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Sunset is at 708. I don't got no candles today, but I'm going to blow the trumpet. The virus is over. Don't let them fool you. Trust God. Keep his commandments. He's good. And he's worthy to be praised. of the trumpet seventh blast means stop rest the Sabbath is not about working to make money it's about worshiping God taking time to to just give him all your attention pick up your Bible and read it see how much God loves you how he gave us his word and he told us to eat it up study it and learn it and be like Christ don't live in fear. Don't worry about what the world is doing. And don't put your cares to the things of the world. But be steadfast and unmovable in the righteousness of God. The Sabbath is about the rest that Christ took when he was crucified. He laid in the tomb. But after sunset on the Sabbath, early Sunday morning, he rose. That's why many people go to church and worship God on Sunday because they believe in his resurrection. The Jews who just keep the Sabbath just believed in the law, but you need both. Those are the two tablets, the law and the resurrection. The resurrection has the blood of the lamb, which was slain for the whole world, all those who would believe. But he said the wicked would be utterly destroyed. And I didn't want to be utterly destroyed I sought God and I found him. The other day he told me to get out, leave the country, but they wouldn't let me leave the country. So I ended up having to stay in New Jersey. Then the Lord said, no, go to Babylon, go to New York, go sound the trumpet, warn the people, repent, repent, repent. Not a lot of people even paid attention. A lot of people took pictures, a lot of people did videos, but at the end of the day, not a lot of people even cared. But God, his word is true. So either you believe and you be a light and you shine or you listen to the world and die. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. We all are called to be sons of God. Jesus Christ, the firstborn. And then now all of us follow suit. When we keep God's commandments and we show love to one another, Christ summed up all the commandments with two. Love God with all your heart, your mind, and your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Take a moment to reflect on your life. Take a moment to reflect on God's glory. Take a moment to give God praise. Take a moment to give God the honor to be praised. Don't listen to the president because he wants to kill you and destroy you. He wants to give you a vaccine to put you to sleep. He said he's in a war with an invisible enemy. He's fighting against the Lord God and he can never win. The battle is already won. We have the victory because we believe. Do not trust in man and in things of this world. You don't need money. Money is just a tool to help. But the world became so corrupt with money. So God says, stop, stop everything. Stop school, stop church. Stop, go home, repent, pick up your Bible, read it, read the Psalms. Know that God is the God of Egypt, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is still the God of Israel. It said the scepter will never leave 
the tribe of Judah, the praises, those who give worship to the Lord. Well, we all who praise the Lord God and accept his son, we are the tribe of Judah. We are the tribe of the lion. And the reason why I weigh, all that I weigh is because God made me heavy. <laughs> the, the reason why I wear the headdress of the Egyptian Pharaoh representing the son of God, the crown with the serpent representing the wisdom of God, the Jews representing the priesthood. God said, let your light shine. And he's given us life. He's given us hope. He's given us peace. But the world, they don't understand that peace. The world doesn't understand that joy. The world doesn't want to rest from their labors. The world just want to make money. Fear not, for this is only a test of your faith. That if you would trust God, he will provide all your needs according to his riches and glory. The United States had the whole world in bondage, all of its people in bondage. We have been slaves. We have been asleep, working for nothing, toiling for food and shelter and clothes. And then when we love God, they want to kill us. They want to fire us. They want to throw us under the bus because we are peculiar people. We are the sheep of the Lamb of God, and He is our shepherd. Jesus is the shepherd for each and every one of you, and He wants to raise you up to be shepherds as well. But you have to study His Word. Learn His commandments, learn His laws, learn His ways, and if you don't know, I'll teach. All you got to do is listen. I'll teach you everything that I know, because I've been through a lot. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the, the uncertain. But I've never given up on God. I've never given up on him. He was crucified with five points. That's why there's a star that has five points. The crown, both hands and both feet. He was wounded for us. In the side, he was pierced. Blood and water rushed out. It said, put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I know the things that I've been doing may seem weird to you the places that I have had to go not everybody can go it says who can ascend into the holy hill of the Lord he that has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted himself up to vanity while the cares of this world the money the fame I tried to be famous but it didn't work the way I wanted it to work but now I'm famous in Christ I'm famous in the Lord and that's all that matters because he loves me. I have a personal, personal relationship with the Lord. And I love him. I love him. And he loves you too. Hallelujah. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who've sinned against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Listen, the COVID-19 or the coronavirus is about the light of God shining in a dark world. Those who are wicked they perish from that disease. It's God sending his deaf angel and taking the breath just as he did the firstborn in the Passover. We commem commemorate God's promises by keeping his Sabbath each week, by resting and worshiping on Saturday and Sunday. Both days, he said, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning of the week and the end of the week. Never give up. Never lose hope. You are free. You've always been free. But then when you listen to the world news, then it's always devastating. But when you listen to the gospel, which is the good news, it's always enlightening. It's always good for the heart, always good for the soul. And we're supposed to shine like the sun. We're supposed to be like Jesus. He said, pick up your cross and follow me. So where did he ask you to go? To lay your life down for his. But Paul says, you don't have to die for real. 
All you have to do is believe, be baptized, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, which is your reasonable service, and stop continuing in sin. If you make a mistake, that's a mistake, but don't continue in sin. Trust God and don't lust after the things of the world, but pray that God will provide for you. He has provided for me. And the little that I've had, he's always multiplied it. I've always had a dream to be a CEO of a great music company, to create songs that empower people, to express life and art in a positive manner. And I know that the day is coming. God is going to restore everything that I've lost. The God is going to restore everything that you've lost. And he don't need no money from you. All he wants is your time. He's been trying to schedule an appointment with you every week. But you've been so busy working, trying to make money, so you haven't just set a whole day aside for God. So join me and rest. Now, take my word of advice. Don't go out between now and tomorrow night unless you're worshiping. Don't go shopping. Don't go do nothing that the world would do. Keep the day holy, and God will reward you and bless you. But if you break your Sabbath, the Lord requires, he requires your life. And I want you to live. God is true. God is love. He is love. He is slow to anger, he said. But he said vengeance is his. And all we have to do is cry out to him. So I cried out to him. Lord, help me. Father God, Yahweh, Jehovah Jireh, in the name of Jesus, help me. Be my covering. You are the King of kings, the Lord of lords, and you reign. Teach me to be like you. Father, my will is that your will be done on earth. I decrease, so you increase. Father, lift me up and set me on a rock that my enemies will be my footstool. When we learn the word, when we learn his, 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 his glory is in our life, his glory is all around us. His glory is in us. His glory is his peace, his peace. It covers us and takes away all the pain and the fear. We love him. God makes us happy and he is just, he's true. But we have to find time to praise him. Don't get caught up in the hype. Because the world, as the devil would do, kill, steal, destroy you. Don't worry about voting for a president. God is your president. God is your king. And he'll set a righteous person in charge. And if he chooses to set me in charge, I'll love everybody and treat everybody with kindness and Love and peace. I'm just a servant in his kingdom. And we all supposed to be servants in his kingdom. You got to love him. You got to just relax. Rest. Take some holy communion after you repent. Get you some bread. Get the bread. The show bread. Get your wine. Get your cup. This is the cup. The cup of the Lord. The Elijah cup. He said, do this in remembrance of me. It's for healing for the body. That's the cure. One second. It said the Lord, the night he was about to be betrayed, he took bread and he gave thanks and blessed it. Heavenly Father, God of heaven, bless this bread, the show bread, the bread of life, that it will give us strength for our mortal bodies, that you will bless us with your eternal spirit and your power. And he said he took the bread and he broke it and he gave it to them and he ate. This is my body, the blood in the cup, the body of Christ representing the bread that you need for life, the food. You eat it. Thank you, Jesus.
the grape juice or the wine from the vine, the holy Lamb of God. Father, bless this to represent your blood, the blood of the Lamb. Fill my cup, Lord, that I will thirst no more. Hallelujah. For your glory, I'll do anything, Lord. And he took the cup and he gave to them. And he said, drink, do this in remembrance of me till I come. Bless the blood of Jesus, the lamb. Hallelujah. Let's drink it all. The blood of Jesus. Healing for the body. The birth and the death and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, born of a virgin. Not everybody believes it. Not everybody would receive it. But the word of God says, as is above, so be below. Two cups of the blood. Fill us up, Lord. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Take the time to worship God. Hallelujah. Take time to worship the Lord. I love you. God loves you. Let's read the word. I'm going to go to uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to read Psalms 119. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Fill us, Lord. Keep us, Lord. Sustain us, Lord. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learnt what I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes. O oh, forsake me not utterly. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed there too according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord. Teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. 
Deal bountifully with thy servant, that I may live and keep thy word. Open thou my eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, who do error from thy commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept thy testimonies. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but thy servant did meditate in thy statutes. Thy testimonies are also my delight and my counselors. My soul cleaveth unto the dust. Quicken thou me according to thy word. I have declared my ways, and thou heardest me. Teach me thy statutes. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts. So shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melteth of heaviness. Scriffen thou me according unto thy word. Remove from me the way of lying, and grant me the law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto the testimonies. O Lord, put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it until the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yeah, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away mine in my eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach, which I fear, for the judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. Let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproacheth me, for I trust in thy word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in thy judgments. So shall I keep thy law continually forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. My hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments, which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statues. Remember the word unto thy servant, upon, thou, um, upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for the word hath quickened me. The proud hath had me greatly in derision, yet have I not declined from thy law. I remembered thy judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. Horror have taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. Thy statues have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night and have kept thy law. This I had because I kept thy precepts. Thou art my portion. O Lord, I have said that I will keep thy words. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear thee, and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. Thou hast dealt well with thy servant, O Lord, according unto thy word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have beloved and believed that thy commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now have I kept thy word. Thou art good and doeth good. Teach me thy statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is fat as grease, but I delight in thy law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. The law of thy mouth is better unto me 
than thousands of gold and silver. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn thy commandments. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in thy word. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness has afflicted me. Let, I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to thy word unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dwelt perversely with me, without a cause, but I will meditate in thy precepts. Let those that fear, fear thee turn unto me, and those that have known thy testimonies. Let my heart be sound in thy statues, that I be not ashamed. My soul fainteth for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Mine eyes fail for thy word, saying, When wilt thou comfort me? For I am become like a bottle in the smoke, yet do I not forget thy statues. How many are the days of thy servant? When wilt thou execute judgment on them that persecute me? The proud have digged pits for me, which are not after thy law. All thy commandments are faithful. They persecute, persecute me wrongfully. Help thou me. They had almost consumed me upon the earth, but I forsook not thy precepts. Quicken me after thy loving kindness, so shall I keep thy testimony of my mouth, of thy mouth. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. They continue this day according to thine ordinances, for all are thy servants. Unless thy law had been my delights, I should then have perished in mine affliction. I will never forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. I am thine, save me, for I have sought thy precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but thy commandments is exceedingly broad. Oh, how love I the law. It is my meditation all the day. Thou through thy commandments has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. I, ha I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform it, that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy word. Except I beseech thee the freewill offerings of my mouth. O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have erred not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always, even until the end. I hate vain thoughts. But thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Depart from me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to, th to thy word, that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe, and I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Thou hast trodden down all them that error from thy statutes. For their deceit is falsehood. Thou putteth away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore I love thy testimonies. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to mine oppressors, but surely for thy servant, for good. Let not the proud oppress me, 
Mine eyes fail for thy salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore, I love thy commandments above gold. Yes, above fine gold. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Thy testimonies are wonderful. Therefore, do of my soul keep them. The entrance of thy words giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. I opened my mouth and panted, for I longed for thy commandments. Look thou upon me, and be merciful unto me, as thou usest to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statues. Rivers of water run down mine eyes, because they keep not thy law. Righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. Thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. My zeal hath consumed me, because mine enemies have forgotten thy words. Thy word is very pure, therefore thy servant loveth it. I am small and despised, yet do I not forget thy precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet the commandments are my delights. The righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. I cried with my whole heart, Hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, Save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried. I hoped in thy word, Mine eyes prevent the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are true. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. Consider mine affliction and deliver me. For I do not forget thy law. Plead my cause and deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statues. Great are thy tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgment. Many are my persecutors and mine enemies, yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved because thy kept not the word. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Lord according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning and every one of thy righteous judgments endure forever. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, I have hoped for thy salvation, and done thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Let my cry come near before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise thee, and let, let thy judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. Praise God for the reading of his word. That was Psalms 119 in its entirety. God is great and greatly to be praised. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. 
I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare for table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yes, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without a cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art the God of salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and will show them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and I have mercy, and, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring thou me out of my distress. Look upon my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O oh God, out of all his troubles. Matthew chapter 5 And seeing the multitudes he went up into a mountain and when he was set his disciples came unto him and he opened his mouth and he taught them saying Blessed are the poor in spirit for there is the kingdom of heaven Blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. For my sake, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if thou salt has lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, 
but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Ye are the light of the world, and a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass away, not one jot or tittle shall no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there remembereth that thy brother has an art against thee, leave thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be rec reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Verily I say unto thee, Thou shalt by no means come out thence, till thou hast paid the uttermost fallen. Yet ye have heard that it was said by them of old times, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I also, but I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her have committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not thy whole body should be cast into hell. It hath been said, whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. But I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causes her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her, that is divorced, committeth adultery. Again, ye have heard that it hath been said by them of old times, thou shalt not swear thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord thine oath. But I say unto thee, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, not by the earth, for it is the footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. But let your communication be yes, yes, or no, no, for whatsoever is more than these cometh evil. Ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, that ye resist evil. But whosoever shall smite thee on your right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him too. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. Ye have heard that it has been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the 
publicans so? Be ye thou therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Hallelujah. Perfection comes from God. Perfection is obtainable with the Holy Spirit. Never ever give up. Never turn your back on God. And uh, the commandments in your reading, Exodus, Exodus chapter 20. And God spake all these words saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or likeness, any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me and showing mercy unto th thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day, and hath hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is in thy neighbors. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not. For God has come to prove you that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. And the people stood afar off, and Moses drew near unto the thick darkness where God was. And the Lord said unto Moses, Thus thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, Ye have seen that I have talked with you from heaven. Ye shall not make with me gods of silver, neither shall you make unto you gods of gold. And also... Of earth thou shalt make unto me, and shalt sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings, and thy peace offerings, thy sheep, and thy oxen. In all places where I record my name, I will come unto thee, and I will bless thee. And if thou wilt make me an altar of stone, thou shalt not build it out of hewn stone. For if thou lift up thy tool upon it, thou hast polluted it. Neither shalt thou go up by steps unto my altar that thy nakedness be not discovered thereon. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for the reading of his word and his commandments and his laws and his ways are forever true. This is the Sabbath day of the Lord and we should rest, seek his love and his truth. And if you're not feeling well, if you, you, you're having problems, even with your allergies and everything, I got a couple things that you need to see if you can get or order. All right, so this is 100% oil, cinnamon, you should get that therapeutic. Just put it in your drinks and drink it. It's strong, but it works. If you got sickness and disease in your body that you can't get a cure for, stop taking medicine and use oregano oil, 100%. Two or three drops in this and some orange juice or some juice that you like or even like the grape juice that I just had for communion. It will be great. Clean your body out. Get all those toxins and clean your, your kidneys. Frankincense. 100%, put it in your drinks. Myrrh, for your body, for pains and aches. 100%, put it in your drinks. Propolis Tinecure is honey and some alcohol and some other things. 
but it'll get rid of your allergies and help heal your body. Honey, sweet, it's good. Put in your tea or just take a tea teaspoon of it. Bee pollen, the same. Do that. And drink a lot of water. Flush out your system. Some people need to clean out their colon because it's been so packed up. So if you have, you can get your colon cleanse or buy one of those, sorry to say it, but one of those enema packs that'll help clean out your system. And then fasting for three days, no food, just plenty of water. That'll help start flushing your system out as well. God wants to heal you and restore you, but you gotta have courage to at least make an attempt. Those three days of fasting represent three days dying with Christ and he'll raise you up. And the more fasting you do, the more power you get. Also, um, just read all the Psalms. I challenge all of you, if you have anything to do for Saturday, Read the whole book of Psalms. Read all of it. Just sit there and read it out loud. Read it to your kids. Teach them the law of God so they can return to prayer. And then, as a family, pray together. Don't separate yourself. It says, if two or three touch and agree, he's in the midst. So don't isolate yourself so that you can't have another person so the Spirit of God will dwell in you. I'm not saying that the Spirit of God doesn't already live in you, but you get more power when two or three come together. You can break every chain. Also, your body is the temple of the Lord God. It's not the building that we've been going to. It's not the church that we've been going to. That was just a place to congregate. But we're not congregating in full capacity right now because most of the places that were built to congregate had lost the way. They just cared about money and ran a business. But God doesn't charge you any money for his temple. He says, come, buy and eat for free. Get what you want. Get what you need. His storehouse is full. The house of the Lord is full and is, has plenty. Have faith. Trust God. And like I said, God's word is true. And it will come to pass in your life if you believe. I love you guys. And I'll probably talk to you later on or tomorrow. God bless you. Amen.